Oh, that's Bob. Everybody loves Bob Marley. Everywhere I go, it's the same old story. Bob, people of our nation, they love the Rastamon vibration. Bob. Everybody loves Bob Marley, but they also love the North Shore. I mean, what's not to love? It's a historic city on Oahu. They have great beaches, surf, shave ice, shave ice, shave ice, and food. Speaking of food, I was told by some of the locals that there's a couple places I need to check out. I'm gonna open it slightly so you guys can see what's inside. Oh! Can we open this thing, guys? Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she, oh wow, he's flaring up now. <laughs> I also have a bonus scene for you. So stick around because if you don't, then my feelings are just gonna get hurt. That's all. But I do want you to stick around. Let's go. North Shore, a must visit in Hawaii. There's something here you won't find anywhere else on the island. One thing you notice about being in Haleiwa is that everything is old school. Whether it's the 7-Eleven, the McDonald's, they always have like an old school, old school local Hawaiian feel towards it. And you'll notice that more when we go in depth, so let's go check it out. Haleiwa is about a 45 minute drive from Waikiki. As we're entering North Shore, I want to show you the Rainbow Bridge, which is the symbolic figure of the historic town of Haleiwa. A lot of people come here to paddleboard or they jump off the bridge. I paddleboard here. I haven't jumped off the bridge, but uh, I'll just watch others do it. It's easy to rent a paddleboard nearby. What's up, Isaiah? And if you're lucky, you'll see turtles. turtles. One over there and one right there. I'm hungry now. Let's get some breakfast. Christopher Blackwell says, why is Konos not on here, my dude? I was told to check out Konos for their slow roasted pork, breakfast burritos, milkshake. We're gonna try now. We're at Konos right now, and we're gonna try their award-winning slow roasted Kahlua pork. That sounds yummy. I'm hungry, let's go inside. I heard that this is a place I had to come to. Yeah, for the, absolutely. For the roasted pork. Yes, please. What a super cool vibe in here. Chan's is gonna be our number one seller because that's pork and bacon right there. You can't go wrong. We we're gonna try a Chun's breakfast bomber, which is the most popular breakfast wrap. We do have a lot of people get our tattoo. What? So 25% off for life. Yep, you heard it right. If you get their logo tattooed on you, you get 25% off for life. I'm just trying to show off my arms that it's this big and I don't lift weights. But I will get the tattoo though. So right here with the Kona's mud pie, we're gonna try this with the vanilla macadamia nut roasted iced coffee, caramel, vanilla ice cream, Oreos, and whipped cream. Can't wait to try. That is a heavenly drink. It's really sweet and thick. You can taste a little bit of the Oreo fillings because they put the crumbs in. It tastes like a rich milkshake, at the very end of it, it's chased by the slow roasted coffee that they use. They did a great job of blending it all together. Now I know why they're known for their milkshakes. Konos is also known for their pig on grass. I can't pretend that I'm super excited to eat uh, this because I'm not really into healthy foods, but I am into Kulua pork. Oh. 
Instead, I'm here for this massive breakfast burrito. Oh! So you have the Kalua pork here, the eggs, the potato, the avocado, and the jalapenos by request. I'm sure the bacon is in here somewhere buried underneath, but I was told that I had to try it with the avocado and jalapenos with their in-house homemade salsa. And the star of the show is the Kalua pork. They put all their time and effort into the Kalua pork. I think you can have two people eat this. You ready? I'm ready. Everything is fresh and it packs a huge punch when you're eating everything as a whole. This thing is delicious, it's tasty. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, there's the bacon. I'm gonna try it with the salsa now too. So here it is. It was already great, but with the salsa, it got that much greater. Since you are here, why not take a walk through the old town of Haleiwa and check out all the shops? I promise you, it's like going back in time. So this is the start of the Haleiwa, and I would definitely recommend going into this store for collectors. Everything is North Shore Haleiwa, high quality shirts, and definitely makes for great gifts to go back home. Lay back and stroll to the many small boutique stores, galleries, restaurants, and food trucks. So right here, this is the Angel Wings, a very popular attraction here at North Shore. This is something where I see all the girls post and take a picture for their IG. They have it right here, and that's right before the start of going through Haleiwa, right through the bridge over there. Next stop is the best acai bowls on the island. Some people claim it's the best in Hawaii. Haleiwa bowls. My sister's favorite spot to get acai bowls. We're gonna go check it out. Good karma and undeniably good acai bowls. You gotta try me some of this. Mm. Mm. Well, I've never tasted a acai like this. It almost appears like they put every single ounce of acai and just mushed it together to get that dense, thick acai taste with the granola, which is really crunchy, along with this coconut crisp, that's also thick too. Mm. Now I see why my sister drives all the way from Kanyohe to North Shore just for this. The Wailua Bakery. This place has great prices, some good sandwiches, and some great desserts. Did I mention it has great prices? Yeah, you check it out. Let's go see. A family run cafe and they grow it themselves. Everything they make is grown themselves. This is a place for fresh baked sandwiches with loaded toppings and cookies. I have a bite. Yeah. We stop by here every time we're in North Shore. Oh, I love it. Make sure you stop by too. Next stop is the most famous shrimp truck on the island. The shrimp scampi is taking over North Shore. And this line is pretty long, you gotta check it out. The shrimp scampi is the best selling shrimp plate. As you can see, people stand in line for hours to taste Giovanni shrimp. So right now, Ni is eating the shrimp scampi, which is the most popular dish here. It's a marinated with garlic, Olive oil, has a little bit of lemon and butter, and it is amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat all the garlic first. Mm. And then the meat. But don't come here for the spicy shrimps. It's too sour on taco sauce. I have a full video on this. 
Lokini Si Uta told me that I have to check out Jenny Shrimp. It's right down the street. Let's go. I'm already liking the vibe. Jenny Shrimp Wagon here. Seating area is here in the shade. Butter garlic shrimp, spicy lemon pepper, spicy garlic. Spicy garlic? Giovanni's didn't offer spicy with garlic. It's popular here among spicy lovers. Yeah, spicy garlic was the one of the popular ones. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely try that. We asked how to make great shrimps. To be honest, it's just how the way you make it. The recipes we have and the people who cook and the time we have to cook the shrimp. If we do it over cooking, yeah. it makes shrimps taste all good. And it tastes your water as well. Thank and you depends so the season. This already smells so good. Let me open this for you guys. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is beautiful. Look at this. Mm. Oh wow. Look at the colors too. I love all the sauce on the shrimps and on the rice. That is really amazing. What a hidden gem. I am blown away. Mm, it's so juicy, wow. Mm, so many flavors. And it's good spicy too. Yeah, this is not fake spicy. This is, this is actually spicy. Pump with a lot of garlic and wow. Wow. So I peeled it off. I have to suck all the juiciness out of the shrimp. All the flavors on the shells. Oh my goodness. The shrimps are cooked perfectly. The shrimps here are so fresh. The flavors here are amazing. It's just melting in my tongue right now. They've done a superb job making the shrimp for us here. It's really, really amazing. Unexpectedly good, and I am in shrimp heaven right now. So, what do you think it was better than Giovanni's? I mean, this was so unexpectedly good. I love spicy, spicy garlic together here at Jenny's. Yes, I definitely go for Jenny's. I would go here just because I can skip the line, and the quality is the same. I think I love the flavors here more though. It's definitely underrated, okay? And Giovanni's shrimp is a little bit overrated. Oh my gosh. For sure. Here at the most famous shave ice spot in all of North Shore, Matsumoto's. I have a video on here. So you have a combination of 38 different flavors, but you can combine only three together. Doesn't mean that I can't combine condensed milk, ice cream, beans, and mochi balls with this too. Zuki beans and ice cream, which I added on for $1.50 more. And you have to try the shave ice with the ice cream and the zuki beans. It makes a really big difference. Ice cream and zuki beans and shave ice. But you can have some. No, I'm just joking. Ryan Harvey told me that I have to check out Angel's Ice Cream because they have the best shave ice. It's not exactly in North Shore, it's a little bit outside, but we're heading there. Let's jump in the time machine and go. Returning to my shave ice video, Ryan Harvey says that Wyola is not the best, Angel's Ice Cream has the best shave ice. He says, I'll change my mind. We'll see about that. We'll be turning in here shortly. Seven brothers. Here we are at Angel's Shave Ice and Ice. What? You want to be in the video? Okay, never mind. Doesn't want to be in the video. <laughs> Here we are in the Lee Shopping Center, and we're gonna try out Angel's Ice Cream. Well, we're not gonna try their ice cream. We're gonna try their Shave Ice because that's what they're known for here too. I'm excited, it looks like a happening area. And we are gonna have some shaved ice. I heard that they give large portions here and they use card only. You know what? I don't understand why they do that for. I think I went to the Seven Brothers and they use card only also. 
<laughs> Someone please tell me why they do that here. I don't know why. Hello. I'll get it. All coconuts with strawberry, vanilla, and pineapple. Okay. Okay, sounds good to me. Well, I'll put that. So this is the small version and this doesn't look small to me at all. And this is the rainbow shave ice. They have blue Hawaii, strawberry, pineapple, coconut, all the flavors us locals love over here. With condensed milk and ice cream on the bottom. And what makes it special is that I want to try these popping boba balls. I've never seen these balls on any shave ice and I want to try it. It looks really soft. All right, Ryan, let's see if you let me here to a good place. That was really, really good. Oh wow, <laughs> this tastes like shave ice blended with ice cream and really sweet and a lot of fine texture in every single piece and it melts so good in my waha. And the popping bobas, I know why they call it popping bobas because when you chew on the boba, it pops in your mouth and I think it bursts with more sugar. So it's just a sugar heaven here, a sugar high, and I ain't complaining because I love sugar. I can't say it's quality like Matsumoto's, Wyola, or Shimazu because the shave ice melts relatively quickly. This place is a dessert place, and I think that's what the shave ice turns into. It turns into more of a dessert, not really focusing on shave ice, is it good? Will I stop by here and try some shave ice? Yes. Would I be happy? Yes. Is it the best shave ice? No. But it's a place that I will still come by because they have a lot of sweets in here. It looks like sugar heaven. That's the kind of heaven I want to go to. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate you recommending me here. Did they make me change my mind about what shave ice is the best? No. But I'm happy that you did tell me to come here. Oh, oh. oh, what's up, Justin? How what's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? How's everything? I love this place. It's no, actually, it was recommended to me. I'm going where the locals recommend me to go. Yeah, it's my friend Justin. Uh, we punch each other in the face many times, but as friends, though, in the boxing ring, because we spar with each other. Try to sharpen each other, and one of my local buddies here. <laughs> All right. If you go to the dough plantation and try out their dough whip there, you find it rather expensive. Over here, it's the same quality for cheaper, and I think a lot of people that come here are happy about that. Hey, roosters! <laughs> that was great. Off we go. Speaking of dough whip, we're at the dough plantation. It's another famous spot near North Shore. This is the dough plantation, pineapple heaven basically, and that's what Hawaii is known for, it's pineapples. And make sure to come here early because you might end up in this long line waiting for the pineapple train. The demonstration will also show you how to grow your own pineapple at home, and you'll even get to But since you are here, and we gotta get some dough whip here. Of course, you have to, a thousand percent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thank you. And get lost in the pineapple garden maze. It's in fact, the world's largest maze. Boom, now back from the time machine. Let's go to the Wailua Sugar Mill. Here we are at the Wailua Sugar Mill and we're gonna try the Wailua Coffee Place. So what is this place exactly? Let's have one of the owners tell us. I'm Bill, Bill, Bill okay. Martin. This building is kind of cool. It used to be the garage for the sugar mill. So we just kind of repurposed it. But we've been in here for about 20 years doing business. And then right out our back door is the Wailua Coffee and Cacao Mill. Wow. It's right outside. The staff takes you on a small free coffee and cacao tour. You gotta be kidding me. So all the coffee is here, right here on the ground. And you get to try free coffee samples right after. Wash the process, all Hawaii coffees are washed the process. So the coffee and chocolate that are sold here are from the back door. And it's all 100% straight from the origin. 
How we operate with them is we buy the raw coffee and cocoa beans and we do all our own roasting. My roaster is just over here. 100% original, pure. pure Hawaiian coffee from the Aina. This one is trying to get really cool made in Hawaii local products, the food products. Like made in Hawaii food. products, okay? Yeah. Support local. Yes, local Hawaii products, gifts, souvenirs, and more. Here's some history. This whole big compound was a very busy sugar mill for almost a hundred years. It was in operation, so for this little town, that was kind of the big thing, you know. 25 years ago or so, they shut down the mill. It just wasn't profitable anymore. Obviously, they have a good name, it's trusted, and the legacy still lives on. The other thing that's really popular here, my wife makes this all natural shave ice syrup. So she gets the local mango and papaya and pineapple and the Wailua chocolate and coffee and there's ube and, but she oh, makes wow. that from scratch. Passion jam guava on the top, black sugar inside with condensed milk. Thank you so much, I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. thank you. Made with real ube jam, coconut water, and Dave's ube ice cream. Wow. Wow. That is pure organic guava. That is sugary. That seems like it came out fresh guava as if it was squeezed right from the guava fruit itself. <laughs> this tastes like I'm drinking the ube fruit blended organically in its purest form. All the ube products I've had was mixed with a whole lot of sugar to make it more rich and you just gotta try it out for yourself. Oh yes, yes. And then next door they make these uncle's ice cream sandwiches. They won the best ice cream in Hawaii for the last five years yeah. ago. We are coming back for these. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well thanks Mr. Yeah, I, I thank want you. to see if you get a shotgun here. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Thank you Mr. Thank Martin. You, thank oh yeah, we're gonna try some of that. Right nearby is a North Shore soap factory. You walk into a small soap heaven. The factory has Hawaii's finest quality soaps, all locally made. We're leaving Haleiwa town to the most famous stretch of the North Shore coast that is also connected as a seven mile miracle. It's a surfer's paradise, but also a paradise for non-surfers like me. So let's go. Laniakea Beach is also known as Turtle Beach. And here we are with a new turtle friend here. <laughs> Why? Because we have beautiful turtles like that right here. And we have people that want to protect them to make sure that they're safe. safe. Turtle season starts from February all the way to October. It's January right now. We're lucky to have one turtle, but I would love to see more turtles pull up. And of course, stay 10 feet away and admire them from that distance. So this is Waimea Bay, one of the most popular beaches here in North Shore. We have the jumping cliff over there where no one's allowed to jump off the cliff right now because it depends on the weather. Also, please jump at your own risk. That's why they have the sign where there's no swimming in the James Shore break, but it's definitely worth taking a look at. It has some of the best waves. A lot of the surfers like to come here to surf the waves, but a lot of the tourists who don't surf like to just sit on the beach and watch the waves come in. I could look at these waves for hours. Check it out. This is a great attraction, and because it's a great attraction, parking is hard to find here. So make sure to come here early, that's my advice. And when you come here, you'll see why it's hard to find parking and why a lot of people like to come here. Nearby is the Waimea Valley Trail, one of the most popular attractions on Oahu because of the Waimea Falls. 
You want to check in with the lifeguards, make sure you get a vest. So we are, we have my friend here. Sorry, what's your name, bro? I'm Johnny, man. John. Woo! They keep everyone here safe, all right? Yeah. The best lifeguard. Yes. And everything else that leads up to the waterfall, a shuttle bus service, botanical gardens, and ancient Hawaiian history. So I just spoke to Marie, and she said that if there's one thing she would want people to know about the Waimea Valley, is the whole sacredness of it and the history of it. So, yep, that's something that you have to look up or listen to her or one of the kapoon to speak, okay? Here we at Shark's Cove. No worries, there are no sharks here. Shark's Cove is the most famous snorkel and dive spot on North Shore with beautiful reefs. It's kind of a lava rock beach. Trying to catch the sunset on North Shore. And this is beautiful. That is so sweet. Oh, you can make new friends here too. <laughs> the legendary Bonsai Pipeline. This is one of the most famous surfer spots in the world. The Billabong Pro Pipeline takes place every December here. The competition is free to watch, so it gets really crowded. This is Jamie O'Brien. Definitely contact his crew for North Shore surf lessons. You can also come here and walk the beach, relax, eat or do photography here. Oh yeah, and if you do surf, don't steal other surfers' waves or you might get the finger. A short walking distance from the pipeline beach is the Ehukai pillbox hike. Before you go, make sure to watch my full video on this. Most people stop here. They don't know that if you go down here and stick to the left, maybe like in 10 minutes, you see the second bunker. After the hike, you can walk back to the Bonsai Pipeline Beach and wash your feet. It's right across the street. Oh. Make sure to make a quick stop for acai bowls with 100% organic juices and granola. So we're here at the original Bonsai Bowls here in North Shore. They're known for the acai bowls. It's approximately, what, 30 second drive from the Ehukai Pill Box. So this is a perfect place to go right after you're done with the hike. Here at Sunset Beach. And the waves are pumping. It's only a five minute drive away from Bonsai Pipeline and it's located on the same coast. To be honest, unless you're really into surfing, it's hard to tell the difference. I thought it was the same thing. Now I'm hungry. Let's eat. Here at Ted's Bakery, it's right next to Sunset Beach. I know that they have many great dishes on this menu. And I like all the visuals they have. Pineapple macadamia nut cheese. Oh, you gotta be joking me. But uh, we're gonna try the most famous one, the chocolate hot pea pie. Uh, let's go try it together. Five people inside. Two, three, four, five. Good. Whoa, here's the famous ones. They're pies. And they're sold all throughout the island. Ooh, cool. I'm gonna grab some to eat. Strawberry tarts too. Chocolate cup. So good and so dangerous. So check out this local moku. This is huge. Oh my. It costs $12.94. I think that's a pretty reasonable price considering the fact that everything went up recently and they have a huge portion and I know it's good but the question is was it worth the wait? I'll answer that right now. Two patties, the rice, the thick creamy gravy. Oh my. Oh and the mac salad too. How can I forget about that? Get some of that thick gravy sauce here. And I'll tell you about it right now. One. That is a good local mocha. And the thing I like about the gravy is that it's thick, creamy, silky, and it bends really well with the rice and the hamburger. Whew. 
and the egg too. And I just released it. Look at all that yolk too. They don't mess around here at Ted's Bakery. Do I recommend you coming here? Oh yeah. Oh, what's up, Zarek? What's up, man? <laughs> it's my homie from work over here, Zarek. Oh, what's up? Yeah. Hey, you know, um, for people who aren't too familiar with the area, like what food places should they check out? Um, I like the Paul Kai Bakery. They have the um, snow puppies, which is very, very popular. I like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and um, Kulula Shave Ice in um, Hollywood too. I didn't even know there was another Shave Ice place, and I'm supposed to be the Shave Ice Master because I came out with the video. I didn't know that. Who has the best Shave Ice on the island of Oahu? That is a question that's been discussed amongst the locals for a long time now. Add those to the list, guys, and if you do check out those spaces, leave me a comment down below and tell me how it is. I <laughs> appreciate it, Zarek. Alright, All right, shoot, shoot. shoot. <laughs> Zarek went to zipline right after. I'm kind of jealous. It's another popular thing you could do here. Now, we're off to the pineapple macadamia nut cheesecake. And this thing looks oh no. Look at that. It is a thing of beauty. I can see the pineapple macadamia nut over here. The cheesecake, the bread. You gotta be joking me. I'm assuming this thing tastes as good as it looks. Are you ready? Because I'm more than ready. I'm more than happy to tell you how this tastes like. Oh. There's no way I could be watching this and not get me one for myself. Hmm. Mm, that was so good. This pineapple is put in a form where it, it's cold or it comes off like a dessert. But it has a lot of flakes on the side where it's kind of crunchy, which makes it fun. And you have the nuts, macadamia nuts in the background over here, which adds more taste to it. It's almost like the icing on the cake. The cheesecake is dense and I think the bread on the bottom kind of balances everything out. Now we're gonna try out their most famous slice of pie, and that's the chocolate hapia cream pie. You don't know what hapia is? It's a, basically a Hawaiian dessert that's coconut. Look how they put the whipped cream on top. It almost looks like roses. The crust, you got the hapia, the chocolate. Without further ado, let's eat. that crust too. Everything looks so delicious. You ready? I'm ready. Now. You gotta be joking me. That is a nice, light, rich dessert. It's like with the halpia, but the chocolate is really thick. And I like how the whipped cream just puts the icing on the cake also. Whoever makes these, Slices of pie, I, I wanna thank you, and I wanna shake your hand, because this is some amazing pie. All right guys, I'm gonna go head off to the next location. The Turtle Bay Beach is free for anyone, and it's located right at the Turtle Bay Resort Hotel. Even though Turtle Bay Hotel is a beautiful hotel, and I can't afford to stay there, so there's no sense in me going inside, the beach access is free, and that's what we're gonna go check out, so let's go. So here is the nice secluded beach of Turtle Bay. A short drive away is the Kuku Sugar Mill. Today, it's a great spot to hang out, drink, and eat. And right nearby, we have a place called the Seven Brothers, which in my opinion, has the best burgers here on the island of Oahu. This is the Paniolo burger, and I have a full video just on this. I never did this before, so <laughs> I am a little bit excited. Mm. 
Oh yeah, this is a winner. Giovanni's second location is just around the corner without long lines. Remember the huge crowd on Holly Eva? Here are all the important women in my life. Skylar, my niece, mom, niece, wife, fan propeller. I bought this. It's the greatest invention. The next stop is the best Polynesian full day entertainment on the island. Here at the Polynesian Culture Center, you got Samoa. This is Cap. I think he has superpowers. Tonga, Fiji, Tahiti, Micronesia, Hawaii. There's just a lot of Polynesia islands and they have it all here. Let's go. It's the only place to get the full-on Polynesian experience. I'm Polynesian and yet I learned a lot about the culture and history. Not only to understand Hawaii, but also its neighbors and Polynesian culture as a whole. In the island of Fiji, we greet each other by saying, Bula Vinaka. Don't miss a show at the islands of Aotearoa. And in the evening is the hot breath of life show. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your stay here in Hawaii. Thank you, thank you. Only a five minute drive from the Polynesia Culture Center is the final stop. Uh, the Mormon temple here in Laie. Uh, basically, Laie and Kahuku is basically Mormon city. And uh, this is not really a popular attraction, but it's very beautiful. And it's definitely worth visiting and keep an open mind and see what their religion is about. a Mormon temple here in Kuhuku and regardless of what religion you are it's a Mormon temple and it is a place to admire check it out so the Mormon temple is really nice you're always welcome to go jog and walk around the area and look at all the palm trees I see a lot of people running and jogging around this area it's nice just take a look And the last tip of this video, remember Angel's Ice Cream? It's right next to the Polynesian Culture Center, along with Seven Brothers Second Location. Aloha. <laughs> so that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If there's any other places you want me to visit, let me know in the comments section. I read all comments. I appreciate all our viewers. And because of you, we can continue to do this. In the meantime, I'm gonna go jump in this water because it's hot out here and I need to cool down. I'll see you guys later. Aloha.